Welcome to the land of no heating and zero degree nights, which brings us to a video on cold and meditation. Cold and meditative practice, dodging cars on windy rows. Uh, so cold and practice, very similar to pain and practice and the value that you can find in practice amidst the cold and amidst the pain. What's the value of this? Well, if you are in a very uncomfortable physical situation, any time that your mind is off track, you'll experience that pain. If you're in cold, as soon as your mind is wandering, you'll experience the cold. However, when you are absorbed into the object of your practice, there's a type of, it feels to me like a type of fluid that gets sent out and frees the nervous system and almost floats the nervous system. And it creates a very equanimous equilibrium within the nervous tissue. And this allows for a total freedom from physical pain, a total freedom from uh, physical discomfort, cold, etc. So this is a type of mindfulness training where whenever we are losing that mindfulness, we find our pain. You find that cold, that discomfort. Now, this is really important just because we might not be perceiving the pain or perceiving the discomfort or the cold doesn't mean it's not affecting us. You can sit totally free from any perception of the cold and you're totally comfortable as long as you're in that space. But what we find, <laughs> what you can find, is just because you're comfortable doesn't mean you're generating heat, doesn't mean you're immune to this environmental stimulus of the cold. It just means that we are not reacting to it. So we have to further that process and learn how to allow the cold to stimulate heat and something that allows us to have a greater immunity. Or if we're in pain and we're not feeling the pain, the pain can be a very good signal that maybe we're in a position that's harming the body. So while yes, you might be free from the perception of that pain, doesn't mean that it's not damaging you. So we have to learn discernment and there is a very common quality amongst practicers, people who are meditating and working on all this stuff, a very common quality where we will learn how to exist in spite of fairly deep discomforts, fairly profound health issues. And we learn how to compensate for these things. But just because we're compensating for these things does not mean that we have healed these issues. We have just found a way to compensate, which means we've prolonged the time frame uh, in which these particular issues will actually um, harm us in a way that we'll find uh, inescapably perceptible, right? Where these issues become strong enough that we can't compensate around them anymore. So anyway, point being, I'm here in a place uh, practicing with some cold and working on uh, finding that equilibrium. That's not so hard to do. Doing it for long periods of time, that's not so hard to do. The issue for me is that when I come out of it, I'm cold and it's not real easy to heat up, right? When, you're, uh, when your room is zero degrees. So things to work on, things to have fun with. Hope you enjoyed this. All right, bye.